Greetings to all my friends and regular companions of the Blue Cube YouTube channel. I hope you are well. I am Arash Adder. In this video, I will teach you how to quickly sculpt a character that you design yourself, as well as important points about this topic. In the previous lessons, we designed the character and taught you how to animate the character's eyes and mouth. Now, in this video, we want to quickly create the bones for the character that we designed ourselves. But when we bone the character that we designed, there are some points that you must follow. Select all the frames except frame 1, and click on the Remove Frame option to delete the frames. I will click here. All the frames will be deleted for us in this way. The second point, friends, is that all the facial components must be placed in the face symbol layer. If you remember, before we converted the layers to symbol mode. Let's put them inside the symbolized head layer. For this, I click on this layer. I'll go down. Well, here is the head layer. Then the rest of the layers will be the body layer. So, I'll come in here, above the head layer, which is my mouth layer, I'll hold the shift button and click. You'll see that all the layers, except the main head layer, are in selection mode. Friends, in order to learn this tutorial, you must have seen the previous lesson to understand this one. Now I have selected it. I will right click and select the cut layers option here to remove the layer. Now, I will come to the head layer that is here, and with the free transform tool, I will double click on the head layer. On the top layer, there is a neck layer, which is the head in the head symbol layer. I click on the scene again. This is a symbol that is related to the head. I click on the scene, I go back to my scene, and we have a head layer. I click again in the head method. All the layers will be placed inside the layer that is related to the head. If I come down here, you will see that the neck layer is also here. I will select it so that you can see it better. I click on the scene again, I zoom a bit. I select the different parts of the character in this way. For example, I select the body first, and I hold my shift like this, and then I separate it a bit. I also select the other layers in the same way. Friends, let's first convert each layer to symbol mode. For example, I select the hand, I right click, and press the F8 option. Or I can press the F8 key from the keyboard, it doesn't matter, and I press the OK button here to turn it into a symbol. I select it, I press F8, and I turn it into a symbol. Friends, the hand you select, you can see that only the element is selected here. I also want the nail to be selected here, so I hold the shift button and select the nail in this way. If it moves badly, you will see that they all move together. I press F8 and turn it into a symbol. I do the same for the character's other hand. At the bottom of the leg, I will go a little further away so you can see better. I select it for the sole of my leg, I press F8, and in this way I turn them into symbols. Again, for the leg, for these friends, I press the control button. Let it be a symbol here. Friends, it will be corrected, there is no problem about this. I will select this, I will press F8, and I will select the symbol again for the legs. I'll do the same for the other leg of the character. We also convert the pelvis and upper body of the character into symbols. The layers are located here. If I right click and go to the library, you will see that the layer is clear. We have already converted it into a symbol and it is not needed now. The next thing we should do is set the anchor point, which is very important for the bones and movement of the character. In fact, we will say where the joints should be, and where the rotation should be made. I'll delete this shape and create a better pelvis for the character.
I select it on the hip layer where I am, and come here, select the primitive with rectangle mode, and create a shape like this. This is almost suitable for me. Now I'll make some adjustments to the character's body. Our character's stomach is also very big. We can make it a little smaller. Well, I'll zoom out again. After I make these corrections, I'll come back to my scene. As I said, I will adjust the anchor point here for the upper body. It is very important. I will place it in this part. It doesn't matter if it is lower or higher. For the hip part, I will put it at the top. For the head and neck part, from where the head or neck rotates, this is suitable for us. Of course, friends, we can adjust the anchor points later. You must remember this. Friends, and for my hand, I will place it in this part so that the hand will actually rotate for me. I will set the anchor point here. Friends, the reason is that I will take my hand a little into the shoulder. Here it is better. Even later, we will adjust it after the bone is placed. Well, we have done this. So now I will come and find the foot, and here set the anchor point for this foot. For shoes, wherever you put the foot anchor, the leg will rotate from there. Try to place it outside the previous layer. For example, don't put this layer adjacent to the anchor point. Place it correctly. You can adjust this again after the boning. This is where the joint rotates from here. I will place it in the same way for the cap. For example, I will place it here like this. I will choose it for the legs, and I will place the legs here. In this way, I will choose this leg, and I will place it here. It is almost suitable for me. Now you can see that this kick has come and is placed on the character. For now, friends, it is not a problem. Finally, we will fix this. So, I will zoom out. Now, my friends, in the part where I was teaching about animating photos, I told you a model of ossification that we did. Now I want to teach you another method for ossification. In the character section, I click here. In this animation section, if you put it on the character section and put this section on the AI section, it will show you a series of characters that have bones. For example, this character is only walking, and it is important that this character is in this angle where we are going to select that bone. It is facing you, showing the character from a side angle. So, I will come and select the character that is similar to mine. It will open here. In this way, the rig mapping window will open for you. It is much easier for us to come and create the ossification quickly. Let's put it where it is related to the pelvic bone. If you look carefully, it is clear here that this circle is related to the pelvis part where our character is going to rotate. So I come here, select this pelvis with the free transform tool, and click on my pelvis layer. Why didn't this happen now? My layer probably hasn't been converted into a symbol. If I zoom in and right click here, yes, look, I'll come here and convert it into a symbol so that we can set the bones. Let's do it again. I will come again and I will click here. The color will turn blue, and I will click on the hip bone. So friends, this bone will turn green. This shows that this ossification is now done correctly. If you want to remove a bone, hold it on this joint, click on the minus sign, then it will be deselect, and you can adjust the bone again. I select the waist bone and click on the character's pelvis. The bone turns green. For the upper body, I first click on the bone and then click on the character's upper body. I move the anchor point a little higher. Now I select the head bone and click on the character's head. You can see that the bone turns green, which shows that we have done it correctly. I select the bone of each part of the arm and then click on the corresponding layer so that it turns green. Now we do the same action for the other arm of the character. To see the arm behind the character's body, I slightly move the character's body. I connect the bones to the body. For the character's legs, I do the same thing until all the bones turn green. It is important that after selecting each bone, you click on the same body part of the character.
So now you can see that the whole part is set. Friends, let me come up and adjust this body of my character here again. And let's make this part of my pelvis a little smaller. It's better. Let's come and check that my motion mode is enabled. It says that the character's walking mode is active and my walking mode will be created. I don't need it. I just want to ossify the character. I disable it and click on the apply option here. In this way, the ossification will be done automatically for us. There are only a series of settings that we need to quickly come and adjust. It's very easy. I will place your hand in this part where it should be. I will select this hand, I will hold the shift button. It's okay. Even I can make it higher here. It depends on my own work. This is almost suitable for me at the moment. For my character's legs, my friends, I can straighten the legs here. Let's select the selection tool here. In this way, I will select this leg in such a way that I will also move the legs correctly. Well, here I will zoom in. I will select again with the selection here. Well, here, friends, we need to do a series of corrections. I will select this bone and place it here. This is the bottom. This is how these settings, friends, should be done in this way. Try to make them in the same direction. Well, this is how I set it up, my friend. I will double click on the pelvis, and with the alt button, I will make it a bit larger. It must be under the clothes. I will select it, I will hold the control button on the layer, and I will press the down arrow on the keyboard. This shoe of mine should go and be placed under the previous shoe. If you press control and the down arrow, it will go like this and it will be placed under this foot. My friends, control the arrow down and go under and place it like this. This is how I will control the arrow down and select the selection button. All the bones are selected. I'll go to the properties panel and then to frame. Here I'll change the bone mode to wire mode to make the bones look better and more defined. Now, I have to select this joint here with the selection tool, and in the speed option, I set it to zero so that this bone does not rotate for me anymore. Let's rotate it. Our character bends correctly. In the same way for the legs, you can see that the legs move correctly for us. So friends, we came in this way and did the boning for the character. As you can see, we came and did this. We just set the anchor point. It can be done correctly with the selection tool so that these legs are equal to each other. This is the lower line. We can move this value higher in this way so that they are more aligned. This is how my head moves. Well, the rest of the friends, for now the anchor points are suitable, there is no problem here. The last point in this lesson is about removing these lines. To delete these extra lines, first I double, click on the character's thigh with the selection tool to select this part of the stroke and then delete it. In this way, the extra line is removed. With the selection tool, I slightly adjust the thigh lines. Now, if I go back to the main scene, you can see that the line has been deleted. Please remove the other extra lines yourself so that the video doesn't become too long. Well, my friends, this tutorial ends here. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you practice all these situations well so that you can master them. Don't forget that the like button is also there. Be sure to hit it. See you in the next video.